Serena, six months ago you were in the hospital with a blood clot. Now you're in the finals of the U.S. Open. How emotional has this journey back been for you? It's been really emotional and um, really, really hard and everything. I'm just, I feel so blessed and really lucky. You played your opponent, Sam Stozer, just a few weeks ago in the finals of the Canadian Open. What did you learn from that match that can help you today? Well, um, I learned that today's a new day, a whole new match, so I have to be really be ready. Good luck out there, Serena. Thank you. And now Australia, Sam Stozer, who's played the longest match of the tournament, the longest tiebreak of the tournament. Sam, you're playing in your first U.S. Open final, but you played the French Open final last year. How much can that experience help you today? Well, hopefully it'll help me a lot. Obviously, uh, second time around, hopefully you can adjust to things a little bit quicker, and I just want to go out there and really enjoy it. You've played Serena six times, and you've won twice. What do you need to do today to be successful against her? Oh, no doubt I've got to play well. Obviously, this is probably one of the biggest matches of my life, and I've got to go out there and, and play as best I can, and hopefully that's going to stack up pretty well. Best of luck out there. Thank you. I think the answer is yes. Oh, that's a bad leave. I swear she's very loud. And a crushing. This has got an awesome form. Yeah. Good work from Stosa. Cue the ace. Whoa, huge bit of. It's terrific from Stosa. Wow. Now that was a statement. Yep. Teased, but... She's playing maybe for the crowd. Serena. Great return. Ace number three. Again, the Williams not really across.
That's not Serena Williams. Comprehensively outplayed. Just 31 minutes. I cannot believe that caption. Brilliant, though, from Stozier. Yeah. Wow. Well, nothing from Eva Azdaraki there, but that was very noisy from just a, a shot. Yeah. Well, you can't yell before your opponents even finish the point. She's having a word now. Giving the point away. I think she's right. Why did she do it? Wow, well, that's amazing. She did call out before the point was over, and you can't in no. the middle of a point. I mean, I'm sorry, the umpire is actually right. She is right. But it may seem harsh, they don't like it, but you're right. Yeah. She just screamed with a small hand. I mean, it was a heck of a shot, her most venomous shot, but you can't shout out in the rally. No. Remember what happened here in the semi-final a couple of years ago? Well, well, didn't she just say, weren't you the umpire here two years ago? Well, she feels very wrong, but the law and the umpire's got it right. Stosa's got the break. The crowd now realising the full import of what happened. It's tough on Stosa as well. Yeah, absolutely. Could have just changed the match completely. Uh oh. Don't do it. Just don't do it. And now she's got a warning. She's lost all sense of proportion here. Oh, well played. I can hardly hear myself. Talk out there. 15, 14. The drama has gone up. And a good reaction here from Serena with the clapping of the point. And hopefully the crowd will give stone. Sometimes she's hit him. Magnificent return.
there you go. Mighty. Probably the best move she's made. Oh, yes. Different type of shot. But yep. She was a little slow getting up to that. And... and listen to that. Turned in the job. It was third time lucky. And at the age of 27, Sam Stosa is a Grand Slam champion. Serena, well, you could have guessed it, didn't shake either as the racky's hand. The speeches are going to be interesting, particularly the runners-up speech. <laughs> but, well, that's good to see. After all that's gone on, Serena full of smiles for Sam Stosa. But it wasn't always like that. No. <laughs> and, uh, well... Serena, you have played this woman a bunch of times before, but has she ever been able to play like that to beat you and to beat Serena Williams in straight sets that's about as hard as it gets yeah no she played really really well um, you know she's a great player and it's good to see um, I tried my hardest and she just kept hitting winners and I was just like oh my god what am I doing but I tried and you know I had fun and you know it, it's good tell me what happened at the beginning of that second set when you had it out with the chair umpire, it actually seemed to energize you. Can you talk about what happened? And at least for a while, certainly these fans changed their mind about what was going on out there too. Yeah, you know, I was just doing my best and I, I hit a winner, but I guess it didn't count. So, you know, <laughs> it, it wouldn't have mattered in the end. Um, Sam played really well and, you know, thank you, Joe, for letting me get this far. It's been an arduous road six months ago in the hospital. I never thought I would be standing here today. And um, I, I didn't think I'd be standing, let alone here, so. It was that bad. Pardon? It was that bad. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was pretty close. But um, you know, thanks to my mom and my sisters and my dad and you know, Sasha and Esther and uh, Mackie who's been great on my team and um, Suzanne and Jill and everyone over in my box that's been so supportive, it's been unbelievable. I'm really emotional, I might start crying. But um, <laughs> thank you so much, it's, it's really been, it's been good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in addition, In addition to being a finalist here tonight, Serena also finished first in the Olympus US Open bonus challenge. And because of that, because he got to the finals here, you're going to get uh, an extra half a million dollars of bonus prize money. There you go.
And now on behalf of the USTA, John Bergosian will present the finalist trophy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear for our champion, Samantha Stozer of Australia. Is it fair to say you had a good night? Yeah, I think I had a, one of my best days. So I, I guess I'm very fortunate to have been able to do it on this stage in New York, where I've always loved to play. So thanks, everyone. You have been dreaming about this since you are about 10 years old? About that, ever since I really started playing and knew what a Grand Slam was. This was a, a dream of mine to be here one day, and um, it's kind of speechless. I don't even really know what to say and, and how I'm feeling, but... Um, does it feel the way you thought it would feel? I think so. I think it does. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do want to say, Serena, you are uh, obviously a fantastic player and a great champion, and you've done wonders for our sport, so thank you very much. Oh. Very nice. It's about eight. It's about eight fifteen in the morning in the Gold Coast Monday morning. You figure a couple of people have just watched this back home. I, I think so. From the messages I was getting, lots of people were getting up early and watching. And uh, so, uh, thanks everyone back home for supporting me. Um, you, I don't know what to say. I, every all my friends, all my family, and everyone else, thanks so much for for supporting me all the time, not just today, but uh, forever. So I, I look forward to coming back home. <laughs> You'll probably have a couple of people greeting you. Um, first to hand you a, a prize money check for $1.8 million U.S. dollars is Mary Callahan Erdos, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Asset Management. Come on over. This check we've ever given. Thank it's you very much. Congratulations. There we go. Thank you. We're going to see you tomorrow at the bank. All right. Thank you. And now on behalf of the USTA, John Bergosen will present the U.S. Open trophy to Sam Sozer. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2011 Ladies Singles Champion, Samantha Stozer. Serena, six months ago you were in the hospital with a blood clot. Now you're in the finals of the U.S. Open. How emotional has this journey back been for you? It's been really emotional and um, really, really hard and everything. I'm just, I feel so blessed and really lucky. You played your opponent, Sam Stozer, just a few weeks ago in the finals of the Canadian Open. What did you learn from that match that can help you today? Well, um, I learned that today's a new day, a whole new match, so I have to be really be ready. Good luck out there, Serena. Thank you. And now Australia, Sam Stozer, who's played the longest match of the tournament, the longest tiebreak of the tournament. Sam, you're playing in your first U.S. Open final, but you played the French Open final last year. How much can that experience help you today? Well, hopefully it'll help me a lot. Obviously, uh, second time around, hopefully you can adjust to things a little bit quicker, and I just want to go out there and really enjoy it. You've played Serena six times, and you've won twice. What do you need to do today to be successful against her? Oh, no doubt I've got to play well. Obviously, this is probably one of the biggest matches of my life, and I've got to go out there and, and play as best I can, and hopefully that's going to stack up pretty well. Best of luck out there. Thank you. <laughs> I think the answer is yes. Oh, that's a bad leave. I swear she's very loud. And a crushing. Stos has got an awesome form.
Yeah. Good work from Stosa. Cue the ace. Whoa. Huge bit of... It's terrific from Stosa. Wow. Now that was a statement. 